welcome back. Thought we would take a quick look at the chicken coops. Now the chickens are just free ranging. Melissa lost probably a little more than a third, close to a third to a half of all of her chickens. And now with the cats, they have to be in one of these cages. They were at in rescue for over a week and uh, she got them back out and everything. So now they're in one of the chicken coops. So it'll be a long road before the Louisiana coops and everything are back in order. Ah, just everything is such a mess. The hay bale garden. This thing was so green. Everything was growing up to the top here and the flood come in and it's like anything that the water touched in the flood it kills. These bales are done. This one over here was all the green beans. Flattened, I mean, we won't even, yeah, we'll never, we'll have to get new bales now. It would just, everything is dead. And as far as the beehives go, I've taken some of these um, cement blocks or cinder blocks and brought them inside so the TV can sit on those, but both of the beehives were stacked on top of each other over here and they floated away and we have not found one piece of them. There were dead chickens here on the side of the road, three quarters of a mile up the road, up the freeway or the highway out there, and just from floating in the current going that direction. But we can't find, you think you'd find a top, maybe one of the frames, something, not one piece of the beehives, they're gone. All the fruit trees we planted, they're dead. Except for this one right here, you can see just how high the water went. The top part is still kicking. Thought I would throw this clip in for those of you that have not been watching the flood videos at all. Less than two weeks ago, this is what this yard looked like. And this is what it looks like now. But up here in Minnesota, the chicken and turkey and duck runs are still high and dry. I think maybe it's time Melissa and I combine our coops. I've been chopping plenty of wood to keep us warm in the winter. And we wouldn't have to use hay bales to keep everything dry. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to be heading back down to Louisiana in two to three weeks here to continue that project and we'll it's not going to do any good to take a look at the hay bale garden. It's going to be the same, but at least we can take a look and see if the grass has even started to grow since everything is dead. So anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video, and there's definitely something to be said. She lives about uh, four to six feet above sea level. Right here I'm at 879 feet above sea level, and up at the tent we're just under 2,000 feet. We'll just have to keep moving north.